Okay, what happened? Um, oh yeah, Frank is not here anymore. Cause we accident- I, I don't know if accidentally is the right word. We ratted him out for, um, illegal gambling. <laughs> and, um, uh, I think today we are meeting with our weed friends. Yep, Mickey and June. But this would be the last week, uh, we have here in Providence Oak, so I guess See what happens. Okay, a lot of letters up here. Providence Oaks, good morning to you. Theo, positive <laughs> or that's key. Today's contribution is from Matt Turney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake, what a spectacle. I'm glad my barn's still standing, but thanks for calling in, Matt. Let's see what the weather will bring today. We're starting the day with showers, but the sun might come back in the end. Enjoy the music. You live here? Oh, you're just walking around. <laughs> What's this? The Flick Shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oak's premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Hmm. But I got a letter for you. Angie! I think it just wants you to see that.
So many people walking out with no umbrellas. <laughs> I think I mentioned that last time to you. package and then we head out. Oh, there's a parking spot right here. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh well. Photo contest. Ah, there's the mail. How's the photography coming along? Okay, I guess. I've been using the camera for a bit. If you can take pictures for me like you said you would, I can get this practice in. I'll get it done. Don't worry. Okay, please take some pictures and return it today. Alright, sounds good. How many more? Twelve. Okay. You can take... Six more pictures. No problem. I meant to take the picture, not put it away again. Turn left when we get out of Main Street.
looks like the farm has a package or something. Oh, there's one at the, the diner too. Oops. <laughs> it's fine. Hi, Maureen. P.O. people. I need to pause the music for a special message. Oh? Uh, hush, darling. I want to hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Uh, don't lie to yourself, he's talking about the trees. <laughs> Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm, I'm Robert Harris, Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even <laughs> though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. He mentioned he was going to record it at Jack's, but that's all I know. He mentioned that, huh? So. You and Robert are getting to know each other a bit, are you? Um, no. Now, Maureen, don't Maureen this out of proportion. <laughs> I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence. Uh -huh. Now, was uh -huh. he? No. He just asked me to help him keep it pretty. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway. I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Hmm. Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot. More like a hoot and a half. Count me in. Good. I already had you down on my list, of course. But it's nice of you to RSVP. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Let's just say I'll do my best. There you go. You're <laughs> catching up. Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back, but I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. When are we leaving? I realize I should have asked that question earlier. When is our two weeks up? Coming up. Yep. I can definitely take a picture of this.
three more pictures. Carrier Meredith. Uh-huh. Farmer Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. <laughs> As opposed to you? As opposed to you? Yep. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. Luckily, Frank's keeping me busy. You spoke to him? Yeah, just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hen. <laughs> it's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, Mail Carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Okay, Jack. Good luck with the weather. Hope it'll clear up. Thank you much. I'll just be ambivalent about <laughs> whatever he's doing. Can take a picture of the campground. And the watchtower. I can do that. On the way. Okay, I had to take back what I said. Oh, it's not raining anymore. About the music. Oh, baby's crying right next to me. Yes, GG. What's up? Take a picture at the campgrounds. Aha! Uh -huh, it's actually September in the game. Oh, I meant to say, um... I did get copyright flagged on YouTube for the music used in this game, but... It did nothing. I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. It rained. <laughs> Define picnic. And then, I don't think there's anything at the motel. Maybe I can take a picture at the dam. Look at this. Wait, can I not get on the curb? Come on. One more picture left. I think I'll take a picture of the... Every time you need me. The watchtower. In your garden, no 
I think it's here. Oh god. Haha, <laughs> we good. Watchtower, Ugh, my old stomping ground. Here we go, twelve. All right, last mail, and then we will drop off the camera. Thank God for these bumps. Two two. Yes, it is. Okay. Nope. No answer. Okay. Last meal. That's the last of them. Okay, picture time.
Oh, hello. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Neat. I don't remember what I took pictures of. Other than the last few. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. <laughs> oh, hi, Dad. What's up? The sun is up. The sky is blue. Life's good here. The sun is up? I thought it's evening. Well, wait a minute. We're in Oregon. They're on the East Coast. That's great to hear. Yeah, we're so happy we finally took the trip. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse huh? me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Wow, that sounds great. What's the plan? Live there? Yes. We talked to the owner. Oh, wow. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Awesome! I'm so happy for you. Isn't it something? And uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. Makes sense. So, um, if you want to extend your stay in Providence Oaks... Hmm... Are you serious? I'm pretty serious, yes. But uh, it's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now. Hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, here comes your dad again. Bye, dear. I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith. Just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. Hmm. Florida is nice. I don't know if I'd want to live there again. <laughs> Oh boy, here we are. Memories, memories, memories of you and me. Good fucking lord. Memories. We're both looking at him like. <laughs> that was so deep. Right, Meredith? Uh-huh. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these... Girl, leave him! <laughs> I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. How did you two meet? At a dorm party. He was the cool guy who dropped out of college, and I was about to do the same. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. It's okay, Mickey. I've had worse delivering mail. Delivering mail for the man? I couldn't do that. So, you guys are sticking it to the man, eh? Hell yeah. Can't stand the man. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey, guys. 
Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> Meredith! Hell yeah. Sure. My turn. How about some booze? Uh, no. no I've, thanks, I'm I've mixed them oh. once and never again. I guess I'll drink some wine by myself then. Be right back. Memories. 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 Of you. Are you guys on the run? We're just asking him this. Say, we've got a few unpaid parking tickets. Mickey had an argument with some cop, and then there's a bit of college and tax debt. Nothing major. So we're not really on the run. It's more like speed walking. Uh huh. How are you guys gonna cross the border? It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blanket, swim across the border, and then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey, can you um, no, have I'm the good. RV? No, I'm good. I assume you still need it. Knock yourself out. Thanks, but no thanks. One oversized vehicle is enough for me. Are you sure? You should try going off the grid. Experience real freedom. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you and me. Is that the only line he's come up with? Memories. Sounds like it. Nine eleven. <laughs> Anyways, let's check our Okay, a bunch of mail up in Main Street. Nothing about Frank. Oh, he's still fucking here. Top of the Thursday morning, PO. We don't have any callers today, so I'll bring up one of my own pet peeves. PO positive <laughs> or pet peeve. The idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... <sighs> well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the web. Speaking of... No, less cars. On, they will be gone soon. Why don't I oh wait, I can check the fixtures now. Here it is. Here's your mail. You can check the photos on the way out of Main Street. ran me over, but okay. Oh no. 
six fast. And then three oh three. Nothing from Steve, huh? Hmm, hmm. Like a hat box. Ah, then I get it. Nope, no answer. Stop by the general store. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. That was to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Oh no, the, f the light. <gasps> this one's good though. This one too. The places where we got good lighting. Pretty good. This one might be too bright. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they're running a photography competition to promote the new photo labs. If you're interested in entering, you can pick out one of your pictures. Ooh. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'd like to participate. Well, just pick one and submit it. But I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hmm. I do like this one or 
this one. I'll do the tower. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Put it in this envelope and write your name and address on the back. Neat. I got an achievement for it. Uh, mail. with our old bestie. Turn right on the way out. Lori's doing too. She is. Sub lady. Oh dear, you're a sight for sore eyes. Oh hi, Miss J Mildred. How so? Is something wrong with the cats again? It's just this week. It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening. But I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. <laughs> I can just ask her straight up. But what do you mean he needs to bring you an envelope? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Oh dear, oh dear. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? Don't worry, I'm sure Frank will show up again. Oh, Frankie boy. Always making And everyone's in on it, huh? And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? Perhaps I could look after your cats. Would you, my dear? It's tomorrow evening. That would be such a relief for me. And the cats. Tomorrow night? I don't think I have anything. It's Thursday, so Friday. I don't think I have anything. Sure. No trouble at all. Oh, thank you so much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. Hell yeah, free cookies. Yeah, nothing on Friday. You can do that. Um, package. At the car place. Oh, there's the RV. Heavier than I thought. Meredith, look at 
this house on wheels. I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. It was left here by Mickey and June, that young couple by the lake campground. Oh, really? And now what? They told me I could have it if I want. Uh, I don't want to give it to <laughs> But I don't want it either. I'll just say this. And I think I want it. If I can let it stay here for a while. You can tinker on it too. You know I'd love tinkering. You can definitely it's tinker going to need on a it. Lot of work. It can stay here for as long as you need. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while... I should give it a name first! Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name! How about... The Sea Turtle? Big, <laughs> slow, washed up, just like a turtle! Or... The Raccoon? Because it's got brown spots and is full of trash? Or... The Hermit Shell? It had many Ooh, owners like over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like hermit shell. The hermit shell. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. Bye. At least if it's tied to me, I can do something about it. I don't want to give it to Lori because it's most presumably stolen. It's pretty outside. I want to go out. deliver more stuff at that abandoned shack. <laughs> I think it is the abandoned shack again. A normal looking shack. <laughs> what is that noise? Oh, God. Ah, yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as my Oh, he's a writer. Okay. Lake. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is good stuff. Uh, excuse me, sir? Oh, for Christ's sakes, go away! If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times! You must have me confused with someone else, sir. Oh, bloody heck. Do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away! How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be... Did you write the island? Countess and the Carpenter? Do you know the Postal Service motto? Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night, so on and so forth. But no one ever added neither rudeness, nor <laughs> arrogance, nor insults, last I checked. I... 
I do beg your pardon. I... Yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't right. know you were from the Postal Service, ma'am. Should it even matter who I am? Shouting at random strangers is generally considered rude. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher, as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here. And Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch and uh, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where was I? She threw the key in the lake. Then what happens? Oh, Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. No, wait, I got it. And then he says... I'm a fan of your work, sir. <laughs> oh god, okay. Let's back out of here. Just go. Yep. Nothing from Steve, so I assume we did not get the deal, but I'm not gonna say anything. Even though I told him to calm down. Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Hi. Good afternoon, Mr. Morgan. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. Oh, really? Will Frank be coming back then? That's all I have to say. Good luck. All right. <laughs> I was just asking a simple question. Hello? Hi, Em. It's me, Kay. Hi, oh, Kay. Hi, Kay. Good. You're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and I wouldn't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. Thanks, brain. <laughs> sure. What's up? Okay. 
So, this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's Journey, so I'm like, oh my god, Journey. Tonight. I got these tickets ages ago, and it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably be out all night, and I promise you I've called everyone and their brother besides. They're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I get a shortcut to the question? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're totally right. I'm blabbering on R and I. Okay, don't freak out. You got this. All right, recap. Journey tonight in Portland. Got tickets. Sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight. Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Yeah, nothing Are you else to do. Serious. That would help me out in such a big way. And I would owe you big time. Huge. No problem. So, what time do you need me? You're a lifesaver. As soon as you can make it. You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're oh, coming. damn. All you right. Know. All right. See ya. Oh, boy. Babysitting. All right. Who wants s'mores? I don't hear the kids. <laughs> I assume they love me. Hey, 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 guess who's back? Hey, Frank. Frank. I'm so glad to see you again. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Good riddance. Hell yeah, that clueless piece of work. What happened the last few days? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Oh, he's talking about Jenkins? Ooh, this sounds very juicy. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high-stakes game. Mm, I've got literally. lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. But Frank... Isn't this all just really wrong? Nah, Meredith. It's just a bit of harmless fun. <laughs> Can't say that I haven't enjoyed the drama. All right. Time to get back in the saddle. As long Have as you're day, not... Meredith. As long as these people aren't, like, you know, throwing their life savings. I guess it's fine. Okay. Mail. A very good morning, Providence Oaks. Positive or that I wonder what it'll be today. Actually, no. Nancy, the floor is yours. Yeah, Jack, I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start big coughing when I'm smoking in my store? If you don't like it, just leave. Thank you much, Nancy. And, well, if you're asking, it's not like people have other places to go besides the smokehouse that you call a general store. <laughs> he said it straight up. Some of us have asthma. <laughs> uh oh, I hope this car isn't stuck behind me. This is where I'm supposed to... Yep. heavier than I thought. It's a pretty house. Nice and small. 
Oh, wait, this is Kay's house. Can we ask them how the concert went? Driving along the highway. I assume very well. Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday delivery K. Okay, no, that <laughs> sounded better in my head. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. No problem, they were great. I appreciate the lie. <laughs> Come on. So, how was the concert? <laughs> oh yeah, man, Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. Eh, that sounds great. I know, right? There's just so much. Don't stop believing has ruined right now, Journey you know? for me. I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. Relatable. One spleen, two bands. That's quite the potential dilemma. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cindy Lauper or Run DMC or Stevie okay, Wonder. Okay, she got and good taste. Go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Oh, I would never. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. And I mean, I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just... You know? Not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs at this stage, to be honest. You never know until you put yourself out there. I mm -hmm. guess that's true. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out We got an open mic this Sunday. I'd be honored. That's great. It's just something I've been playing around with. Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell me what you think yet, yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. So I can get used to the idea of an audience. Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay. Don't tell anyone, but I'm thinking of performing a song on Hell yeah. synth this Sunday. Holy crap, I just said that out loud. Dude, you are coming to the open mic, right? Of course. Of course, that's great. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. But act cool, yeah? No one else knows yet. <laughs> See you there. Sure thing. Back to my own journey for now. <laughs> nope, ignoring that. Bye now. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a bit of fun, okay? Let's see. Letter. I'm glad the music's back on when I <laughs> leave the car. Uh oh, that car is stuck. Uh oh, there's already a line. Oops. <laughs> uh, okay, past the general store. Bunch of mail, so let's turn right when you leave Main Street.
That person did not stop, but whatever. I can go up this little road right here. Robert. Hey, Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks. And likewise. Hmm. Priority mail from Town Hall. Oh. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic unfiltered. comments. Unfiltered. It worked. The plan worked. Six months. Wow, Pretty good. Great. So happy for you, Not Robert. indefinitely, but we six months. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's or something else on me. Hmm. It's Friday. Okay, wait. Tonight I'm babysitting the cat. We can we can solve it. I'd love that. Great. It's gonna be fun. See you tomorrow night then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. No, you can still keep going. <laughs> Six months can go by really fast.
the shorter way is. I think keep keep going, yeah. remembered how that guy was so rude at the motel. Take a little ad break so I can use a little girl's room. So Is he walking around? I just saw a person walking. I guess so. But hmm, I'm assuming we leave it at his door. Or we could just hand it to him. He's right here. I'll just hand it to him. Ah, the waxworms have arrived. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> I meant the package, Miss Weiss. It's my worms. For fishing. They're just in time. I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. Oh, boy. Great. Have fun. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to, but I'm not helping you with any wax worms. Hmm. I'm already looking after the cat, so I can't. Wow, this is the first time I've turned down an invitation. I appreciate the invitation, but fishing's not for me. Uh, suit yourself, landlubber. Okay, time to go back. I keep hearing cat noises. Am I going insane? I think it's bugged. <laughs> From when I had to bring the cat to Mr. Mackey, like the first day, I think. Unless he got a cat for himself, but I don't think so. I've been hearing it even when I went to the campgrounds. I'm so confused.
Oh, they're piling up over there. I don't know if that it blocks my way to the post office, though. Cat time. Cat time. Hmm. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Driving along the highway, headlights light up the signs. Thinking of what might have been, radio keeps track of time. Hello? Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed today? Oh? Hmm. Let me think. The m, -m, -m monster deal? Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you. About you. Uh -huh. You've been a huge part of the success of this company. And I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers and... We've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. No fucking shit, Steve. I need you even more <laughs> in the coming years. So, here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Only twenty percent. How is that? How am I a partner for twenty percent? Oh, wow, Steve, that sounds great. Can I negotiate? Just let it sink in a bit. <laughs> I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million-dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. There we go. Cat time. Good evening, feline friends. Aunt Meredith's going to keep you company tonight. Come here. Kee -kee -kee. Ow. Uh. <laughs> don't tell me they don't like me. A postcard. From Angie. Miss Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm okay, I was about to say, girl, we kissed! In the car. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to Fuck, do. I need to decide you're gonna stay on open mic. Go back to night. the city or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans somehow. So anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. Mm. Oh god, I have to make a decision. Uh, okay, bunch of mail. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's time once again for a Theo positive <laughs> or that key. Today's verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. Cheryl. I was on a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. We looked at each other for a few seconds and, and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm glad you could retell the tale. Stags can be dangerous. They can uh, impale you, yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, 207? Yeah. 207.
And then a little bit more up there. I, I do think that if I pick the right movie for the the video boxing, I feel like she would have stayed. I'm just so stupid. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> this is why you stop. <laughs> Street. Package. I think it's at the yeah general store. And then mail. not see that fresh in today eggs and veggies from the country oh you're still here huh yep for now when are your parents coming back do you miss them? <laughs> Do you miss them? What would make you think that? Well, they're nice folks, aren't they? Everybody's nice to me because P.O. would fade away without this door. Hmm. You may be right about that. A bit of appreciation every now and then would be nice. Well, I better be on my What way. if I told her that they were gonna <laughs> live in Florida? She might just move. Have a nice day. But it's not my news to tell. Um, let's see.
one of four jacks. I wish we had a normal mailbox. Our mailbox here at this house does not have a flag. So I can't really send things out. Maybe I will just get one. Where's my rat take me today? A bunch? Around here. Okay. Oh wow, okay. Let's go right when we turn out of Main Street. I feel like I'm getting busier with each day. This is a nice house too. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. I thought it looked like a five for a second. I wonder if... Okay, nothing at Bear Creek. Another letter at that... writer's place. I hope he's nicer to me this time. It's so different from what's outside my window right now. It's nice and bright and sunny. <laughs> Are we still there? Soon Lori's working on it.
Wait, is it here? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Almost ran into it. The motel again. Uh, I hate. <laughs> Maybe he'll be nicer to me. I don't know. The light suddenly turned on. Still playing. It's the mail. I'm busy. Okay. Good luck. No. Damn it. I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. Take it easy. It's I'm gonna say game. some things. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. I know the feeling. You know what? I can beat this damn game. And I'm not quitting until I have. Good luck with that. Still an asshole, I see. <laughs> I wonder if I... God, it's raining more. Uh, I think it's just at the farm. Yep. Yeah, it got really dark all of a sudden. I even got my lights on. <laughs> I hate lightning. In real life, and I guess in games. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be saying that a lot <laughs> whenever there's lightning. Stop. Weird. Hello, Providence Okians. It's time once again for the sent in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we oh, all know. Mo. Hey, foe. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Mo's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some well performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening. And maybe even 
some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks. And I'll be there, too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. Uh, I reckon. Why would you ask Please me that? Please the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. The rain is so loud. Ah. Is that why there's this hold up over here? I don't think so. It doesn't make sense. Uh. Is someone drunk driving? Is that why you mentioned ghost drivers? I do love rain. Not like this. <laughs> Socks. That would have made it perfect. <laughs> I guess you can't have it all, Frank. They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Hmm. Hold the line. No, nope. hold the line. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Did I get a cut? Have a great <laughs> weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait, this was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you. But they still haven't found someone else for the job. So I guess you can have it if you want. Wow. Oh, sounds God, I have to make a decision. Exactly. Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. You gotta run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. And now you see sports betting all the time around here today. <laughs> oh yeah, daytime? With steak? Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well... It was okay. A nice change of scenery. Mm -hmm. Great, but not something you do for the rest of your life. Probably not. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Well, let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry Hi, to bother you, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. Uh... My, my, my program is starting to get numbers, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure, to be honest. What are you not sure about, dear? Are other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? No, no, that's not it. It's just easy going here. The surroundings, the job, the people. 
maybe you just need a break. Or maybe this really is what you want. But whatever you decide, think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. I do that every time. Dad, do you care more about the dryer than my plans for the future? I'm sorry, Meredith. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that. No, he's right. <laughs> and it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll tell the dryer that he's on your mind. <sighs> Thanks. And could you also pet him on his back every now and then? He likes that. <laughs> oh, I'm running out of coins. Gotta go. Bye, Em. Take care. I forgot when you had to use coins to call. I don't think I ever had to do that. <laughs> I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm you can get steak sure here. Question. He's all dressed up. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. Hmm. It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent I'm choice, I'm here Mary. for a steak. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... Coke. Coke. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. What Ashley, happens if we ordered the, the same thing? Out. Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah. Are you going? I wish I could go. Especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Announce the weather for next week? Believe it or not, <laughs> he's a very good ballet dancer. No fucking way. Yeah, right. And you're his stage manager. <laughs> no. He's into comedy. Would have loved to have heckled him. <laughs> oh, well, this is a good week anyhow. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer, as a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Uh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Oop. Maureen... I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, <laughs> by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. <laughs> no worries. Mm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way did of I making Did I finally get my blueberry pie? Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh boy, the world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you gonna miss your daily delivery round? I probably will. Yes, I probably will. Must be nice here compared to the big city. Do you think you'll always live here? Nothing's for sure, but I like it here. I needed to change towns after my divorce. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. Makes sense. I can imagine that. But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. <laughs> Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert and Meredith, yes. sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling? Tab? Thanks, Robert. Don't mention it. You've helped me out so much. This is nothing compared to that. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Ah ha ha. Meredith, thanks again for your help. It's raining! If you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. Uh, there's nothing. Glad it got sorted out just in time. Sure did. For now. Take care. Hope to see you around again. 
You too, Robert. Take care. Good luck with the apartments. Call me if you need help. We're just friends, Robert. <laughs> know this. <laughs> God. I'm hoping I could save at some point. Never I predicted delivering mail for two weeks would be like this. I've met so many new people. Some of them are really nice. Some of them a little less so, but all of them interesting in their own way. My temporary mail job officially ends tomorrow. Regardless of the actual experience, the change of scenery always has its upsides. That's probably also true for tonight's open mic at Moe's Diner. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. Aha! Uh -huh. This one's for our own newcomer, <laughs> Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens! Aha, uh -huh. well, folks. Because women can't drive. Hehe. <laughs> now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. <laughs> it's actually time for a little break right now. So, come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Uh, love it? I don't want to lie. I mean, I'll, I'll lie. She's an old lady. Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by, unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend. <gasps> Oh. oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? <laughs> yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? What the heck happened? I must admit it. It's at least a little funny. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair and... Now I'm here, looking like a loser. Ah, oh, poor you. I hope you'll be okay again soon. I hope so. I can't even use my computer right now. Ow. Guess who? Basil from Baker Street. <gasps> Aw, <Angie. laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Even better. Though I never would have guessed. So, what have I missed? Eh, not much. Jack just did some comedy. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Thanks for the note. It was very sweet. I meant every word, babe. So, have you... Hey, Meredith! Hey, Oh, Angie. God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The hermit shell is ready to go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure she's just like new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. <laughs> Gotta go later. An RV? You never told me you had an RV. Well, it's kind of a recent development. You know Mickey and June? The hippie couple? Sure do. They told me it was mine if I wanted it. And I did. Then Lori gave it a checkup. And now I am the proud owner of the Hermit Shell. Wow, good for you. I'd love a free RV. <gasps> you want it? You know, come to think of it, you might have more of a use for it than I do. I... I'd love an RV. I mean, that'd be perfect. But I, I don't know if I can accept it. I mean, June and Mickey must have entrusted you with it for a reason. Are you sure you don't want to keep it? I'm sure. Nah, I'm good. It's all yours. Wow, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and that's a first for me. <laughs> don't mention it. I just like seeing you happy. And vice versa, babe. Really. Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind. And go wherever we want to go. Free spirits, the mm. way Mickey and June intended. Well, you are a good kisser. Hmm. There's plenty more where that came from. But at some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks! God. It's time for the <laughs> final act. It's a doozy! <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Okay, I'll let you know. Dear people, none other than our own Kate Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. It'll be okay, Kay. And on, and on, and on, and on. I pull up to a crossroads. I could drive on or go left, go right. Suddenly these choices make me smile. What if I just enjoy the ride? Life's a game of chance for every break you get. You leave another one behind. Just as long as you keep trying, you will get there. I like that. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. <laughs> Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. So true. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, uh, okay. so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. 
and have some drinks with us. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. That's great. I am I'm so sure proud they of will. Okay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Em. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so I just want to say it was good to have you back these past weeks, Em. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise we'll keep in touch, whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks. For everything. Hug. My lovely people, oh God. the time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Frank is just watching oh, us from totally the diner. Do what she does beyond a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Yeah, but how do you make a choice like that if you don't even know what your own situation will end up looking like? Something on your mind, hon? I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a bit weird about tomorrow. How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women. And if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, You've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around? Move back? I think I have a feeling. Yeah. Then you go follow that feeling, hun. Even if it means I'm leaving? Sure, hon. Listen, I'd love to have you around. You know that. But you have to do things because you want to or because you feel you need to do them for yourself. You don't owe any of us anything. Thanks, Maureen. I best get back inside. You take care, Good advice. Wise. Take care, Maureen. Dear Meredith Weiss, thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Your wonderful picture did not win the grand prize, but you are still a winner. The attached voucher gives you a 20% discount to our online right. course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. 
David Gillespie, Photography for Beginners, Inc. Good morning, Meredith. I took a blurry picture. the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels, just like you said, and won. But they Hold played you. again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. Oh. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. So, the Angels will win this time. Okay, Meredith. Thanks. I'll go with that. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. <laughs> but no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Ah, oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you going to do? Back to my home, my job, and my life in the big city. So I guess you're going back to the future, eh? Computers, living in the fast lane. I guess so. I can't say that I envy you. Although it must be nice to live close to a major ballpark. Do you need a ride to the airport? Yes, please. I'd love to take one last look over the lake. All right, go grab your stuff and let's go. And the V-Bell is not in great shape, but it should last you another month or three. The hermit shell in all of her glory. Do you like her? Meredith and I named her. She's pretty amazing, Lori. Cute name, too. Thanks for doing this for me. You're very welcome. Hey, Meredith? D I suddenly appeared. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you, too, Lori. It was really fun watching that movie and working on the RV with you. <laughs> me, too. Besides, you'll be back sometime, right? Of course. I have to check on my favorite engineer. You mean me? Ha! I'd love that. Safe travels, Meredith. Thank you, Lori. Let's hug. Yeah. See you around. Magnificent, isn't she? Yeah, she certainly knows a lot about cars for a kid her age. <laughs> I meant the RV. But sure, Lori's great too. So, you all packed? Sure am. The big stuff's in storage. But I've got the bare necessities. Clothes, toiletries, and a whole bunch of videotapes. So, where are we going first? <laughs> yeah. Oh okay. god, I gotta tell her. Hmm? I think you should go alone. Oh yeah? Well, I disagree. I don't want to be alone. And I think you should go with me. I'm sorry, Angie. It just doesn't feel right. I mean, that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense, actually. Even though it's not quite what I was expecting. Or hoping. We'll keep in touch. We'll meet again. It's just that this is what I need to do right now. I get it. It's okay. So, do I at least get a goodbye hug? Of course. Of course. Come here. Hug. Sure am gonna miss you, babe. Happy travels. Did you catch a case of cold feet? I guess that's what I you call it. just disappeared. Please take me to the airport, Frank. I don't think that's supposed to happen, so, but... So, here we are again, heading the other way. Aren't you going to miss it here? Probably. It feels odd to be leaving again. I wouldn't want to leave this place, not for a million bucks. Well, wait, no, two million bucks should be enough. <laughs> Do you believe money can buy happiness? That's a good question. Give me a big pile of cash right now and I'll feel real happy. And Same. I'm sure it'll last a couple of days, but then it'll probably start to wear off and I'll be back to complaining about the weather before you know it. But it's probably nicer to complain about the weather when you're living in a big old mansion. Hey, what's this honking clown up to? Move out of the way, you lunatic! Wait a minute. That's Robert Harris. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, I'm pulling over. Sorry about that, Frank. Hope it didn't scare you. That's okay, Robert. I'm a road rage veteran. But, uh, what's all this about? It's not about you, Frank. I need to talk to Meredith. Oh, okay. I'll go have a smoke. Hey, Meredith. 
this is going to sound super awkward. And <laughs> what? And desperate. And probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Stuff like this? Stuff like this? Yeah, you know, I'm a man, you're a woman, I like you. A lot. I didn't want to give in to it. I've been through a rough breakup once, and I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. Robert, I can't just give up my career for a handsome lumberjack. <laughs> sure you can. Stick it to the man. I mean, you know, the man in general, not me. Just hop in my car. I can't do that, Robert. Not right now. You know what? I'll call you. Okay, Meredith. Take care. Call me. Have a safe trip. Thanks, Robert. Okay, Meredith. Let's get you to the airport. Good lord. So many today. things happening. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Thank you, Frank. Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own K. Evans. Oh boy. Wait a sense. Taking these pictures. <laughs>
on, look at that. Uh-oh. 